family legacy has a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. One of the workhorses of WWE proudly feels that he carries this business on his broad shoulders and will continue to do so well into the future. Well, Roman has that swagger. Roman has that confidence. And Roman has that message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can stop me, try. Yeah, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good. There's one guarantee, whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion within the WWE Universe. It's all about his yard. And here comes the architect. Freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion of Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. I have tears in my head. They can't me. They understand. WWE's Apex Predator. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in. began his career by being known as the legend killer. Randy Orton is now simply a legend. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. He has done that in a major way, a 13-time world champion. Randy recently etched his name in history as one of WWE's few Grand Slam champions, and the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down. Just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene.
standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 385 pounds, the Big Show! Strutting to the ring. Look at the size of him! Big Show more agile than we've seen him in years and more dominant than he's been in years. A confident look on the face of the Big Show. Part of some of the all-time great moments in WWE history. You remember when Big Show arrived in WWE? He burst through the ring. The destruction that's followed has been historic. It's going to be Roman's power against the speed and quickness of Seth Rollins tonight. The numbers game here just isn't fair, Cole. I mean, even Saxton can see that. Michael, we can't just look at these two and just evaluate the matchup as a power versus speed. Roman is going to be dealing with more than Seth's quickness tonight. These two are like brothers, so emotions are going to run high. If you've ever fought a brother, you know how quickly rage can take hold of you. These two need to find a way to harness that energy. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. Who's the fix power bomb? History was with Roman Reigns at the 32nd WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. The big dog was on the hunt that night and defeated Triple H to become the WWE Champion in front of more than 100,000 screaming members of the WWE Universe. On that night, Reigns would not be denied. Look at Roman Reigns here. He delivers a hard clothesline. Any time a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the conflict between Triple H and Roman Reigns was so intense that the only place their differences could be settled was WrestleMania. The odds were against Roman Reigns in every possible way at the 32nd Showcase of the Immortals. The game Triple H was ready to take Reigns down once and for all, but the Big Dog had other ideas as he beat the odds and became WWE Champion. Atomic drop, boom, followed up with a boot. Randy Orton has found an answer here. And he slams him down. He hits the clothesline. He's going for the pin. And Roman Reigns powers out. Roman Reigns just powering out of that pin attempt. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Nice job by Randy Orton there. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for. Reigns sizing up the target. Watch out, Roman Reigns is on the attack now. Oh, spear! Cut him in half. He's in control now. This is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. 
That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history has also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Look at Roman Reigns here. Superman punch! Good night! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, where one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his five opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, but one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, I think this man means business. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Truly devastating, Cole. The human body can only absorb so much of that. You have to think that's it. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Watch out. Roman Reigns is on the attack now. Up and over with a suplex. Oh, moonsault. Incredible agility. Man, Seth Rollins, what offense. Oh, man. Oh. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. So damaging. Roman Reigns. Spear. Can he finish the job? Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. If you're an earshot of Seth Rollins, he'll make sure you know he's the future of the WWE. And if you don't believe him, then just tell you to sit and watch. Watch out, that was power on top of more power. What a slam. And here's Randy Orton showing why he's a master manipulator. He's displaying classic offense here. This might be it! Oh my! Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. Here we go. Seth Rollins. Look at this. Look at this. I have to partially agree with you, Byron, when you said Seth Rollins is the future of the WWE. But I believe Seth thinks the future is already here. Without a doubt, Cole. Rollins is at the top of the class of this generation of WWE superstars. Some might think he's cocky, but Seth only sees himself as the man. Crucifix powerbomb. What? Impact. Zeroing in on the chest. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. Oh boy, he is rolling. And down he goes, thanks to a vicious 
gut wrench suplex. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended, and it's, oh my God, the world's largest athlete with the world's largest spear. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. A huge kick out from the big dog. The Big Show is always a favorite to win the Royal Rumble, but he's never punched his WrestleMania ticket there after 12 appearances. It's the strangest thing. When this one, weapon of mass destruction. This one is over. Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. Clearly on a mission here. Big Show nailed it. That is a powerful human being. Not stopping though. Going for the cover. Stiff kick there. What is keeping this competitor going? Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. I've called many of Big Show's Royal Rumble matches, Byron. He's truly a force. He's eliminated over 30 competitors total, but always ends up a target due to his size. I think he's still hung up on his first role. In 2000, The Rock's feet hit the floor before Big Show, but the People's Champion was declared the winner. What an injustice. Crucifix powerbomb. What's wrong? Superman! There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. This is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can just... Oh, I think this man needs business. That might just... And the cover for the win! I thought that was it. Might have slipped there, Cole. so much of that. Reigns has identified the target. Stand by. Spear cut him in half. And there it is, boys. Jeez. Definitely looks like the Big Show is tiring out. Big Show's taking a lot of damage. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Handicap matches are all about the odds, Cole. And sometimes understanding and navigating those odds correctly, as fair or unfair as they may seem, can make all the difference in the world. Sure, he'd rather not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus on the fact that he's in far better shape than his opponent right now. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Amazing combination. Got the reversal. Got him up. Big Show got it there. Big Show in full control. We've and the crossbody connects. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Got a little something brewing here. Oh, the Big Show running a huge wave of momentum right now. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Oh no! There is no toppling the Roman Empire. That's just great execution. Uh oh. Superman punch! What a comeback! Oh man, Big Show is in trouble now. No toppling the Roman Empire tonight. That's worth another look. Yeah, I want to see that again. Best not to get in a taunting match with Reigns, because you'll lose. Shoulders on the back. One! And he breaks up the count. Let's look back on the action from the last match. 
That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! Once it was locked in, there was no question that this one was over. Wow, I did not expect Big Show to come up short tonight. Corey, no one did. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see here at Money in the Bank.